What's going up, people? This is Asset ENT, and I want to talk about this KSI versus Logan Paul fight. And and I'm gonna call it straight out. This shit is bullshit. This shit is nothing but a fix, yo, to get you guys money. And the thing that got me mad the most about this so-called event is for the fact that we all knew, we all knew KSI won this fight from the third, fourth, fifth, and sixth round. He took it. Logan from one and two. From a man like myself, I have experience in martial arts and everything like that, and I know about hit points and everything. So the thing that gets me mad about this fight is just that we saw that KSI was picking up the intensity through the third, fourth, fifth, and sixth round. And Logan Paul already was, like, winded already. And the thing that gets me mad is just that KSI already get more um, hits off the man, but how the fuck this shit turn into a draw? I'm gonna tell you why it turned into a draw. It's a way to guy. It's a way to scam you guys. The way for um Logan Paul to look good again. You know, ever since that little incident, how he sit there and video recorded a, a, a dead Asian man to try try to make this guy look good again. I kind of think this whole shit is a fix now. Like, as soon as I like finish watching this, this cluster fuck of a, a fight. Then again, this is not a professional fight. So just to let you guys understand, it's not professional. But the thing that gets me mad about this fight is just that this dude had preparations to at least put on a, a, a good, you know, show. But it seems like everything what they learn was thrown out the window. Like KSI, for great example. Uh, he could have been throwing uppercuts, man. He could have really been going for the body, closing the gap a little bit more, instead of just trying to keep his distance by throwing jabs. Like, no, close the fucking gap. Like, fucking Logan Paul is a tall motherfucker, man. He's tall. That overhand punk can land, lands on a tall motherfucker. They're going down. Now, I'm not saying for all tall people, but you're a shorter guy. Like, you could have got him good. You could have dropped him just by throwing him overhand punch. But nah, that is just... This whole thing is fixated. And it's like everything with Kiss, um, Kiss I learned, thrown out the window. Everything with Deji learned, thrown out the window. Jake Paul, well, <laughs> seemed like he did a lot better than Deji, but even though Deji did pretty good, I, I applaud that man. You know, he was underestimated, but he just got winded. He fatigued, just like um, Logan Paul. But the thing is, he's mad is just that how the fuck is this a tie? This is not a tie. KSI clearly won that shit. KSI was more explosive, had more endurance, and he kept at it. Logan wasn't. Logan came off strong within the first and second, but damn, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth? No. No. Like, uh, oh my God. I, I can't even go on with this video. Let me guys know what y'all think. Who you think is, who you really thought won, but honestly, KSI won this, run this, won this shit, man. And right now, I'm just, I'm kind of like <laughs> fucking up on my words because of this shit got me pissed off. Like, this shit is retarded. It's like, they do shit like this and legit boxing, fixing shit. Yo, they grabbing you guys' money. They grabbing you guys' money. Then they talking about a rematch. They had this shit already planned it. Just like the Triple G versus Canelo fight. Obviously, Triple G won that fight. But I am going to go into that details. Other else besides that, this is Absolute ENT. Leave your uh, opinions into the comment section and let me know who you thought won. Like or subscribe if you like what you hear. This is Absolute ENT and I'm out.